first. A local theater is inviting you to be their guest at their upcoming musical. Joining us on the CI stage, Monticello Theater Association Summer Youth Production presents Beauty and the Beast director Sherry Hildreth and Kendall Caffin as Enchantress joins me. Great to have you both here with me. Thank you. Very exciting. I know we're counting down to the day of the show. Kendall, tell me a little bit about Beauty and the Beast. Uh, so we start out with the prologue. Uh, there's a young prince who is not the kindest kid around town <laughs> uh, and comes along an old beggar woman asking for shelter in the castle and the prince shuns her but she turns out to be a beautiful enchantress and she curses the prince to be a beast oh and he will never turn back into a human unless he finds true love so it sounds like the classic Beauty and the Beast storyline now who are you in all this I am the Enchantress. Then that's the person who did the not-so-nice thing. <laughs> <laughs> and become the not-friendly kid on the block. <laughs> well, you are key to the storyline, though, so we appreciate you. <laughs> um, Sherry, tell me about what has gone into putting on the show. Really, um, right now, I would say one of the best things is we have amazing parents this summer um, who are just doing everything from props to costumes and set. Um, and I have the best producers in the whole world, um, Katie Culpepper and Colleen Killian. They're just amazing people, and I've had multiple summers to work with them. And yeah, this would not happen without any of them. Um, just as much as these amazing young actors. And what's like the age range that people are gonna see in the, in the cast? Roughly middle school and high school. Okay. Students. Okay, and Kendall, what has this experience been like for you? Uh, it's been very fun. It's been kind of nostalgic since I've been doing theater for so long. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's just kind of been fun getting back into like the groove of everything. Like, after. yeah, after COVID, is there like a learning curve again to kind of get back into the idea of like, oh, there's like live, live audience again. What's that been like? I mean, we had Chicago last year, which was our first like trial run. Yes. Um, and we had many wonderful shows prior to that. But yeah, it, it is different. And being around people without masks yes. is, yeah. yeah, it's unusual. <laughs> Now, Kendall, is there a process that you go through in order to step into character, especially as one that maybe is mm, maybe the less happy type character? <laughs> is there a process you go through? Uh, I definitely stand in the mirror in my room a lot, trying to get the pose down <laughs> because I kind of have to hunch over. Ooh, ooh, can you show me the pose? Uh, I kind of have to. Oh, like oh. <laughs> I probably would have to look in the mirror and practice that one too. You, you got it down. What's that? <laughs> I definitely spinning. Spinning is one of my big things too. Okay. To allude to yes. me. Well, let's talk all the details people need to know in order to come see the performances. I know we're counting down July 22nd, I believe. Yes. Is the first date. What yes. are all the show dates that people can um, mark down on their calendars? So we have the Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So 22nd, 23rd, 24th. The best tickets right now are next Thursday, the 28th. Okay. So if you want to get the best seats, that's um, that's the way to go. But then that weekend, the 28th, 29th, and 30th. Okay. And so all of our evening shows are at 7.30. 7.30 for those evening shows. And how do people get tickets? You can actually go online to the Monticello Theater Association website and I mean, it literally says tickets now. It's so, it be so much easier. <laughs> yeah, we've, we've come a long way, and that's thanks to our producers too. That you don't have to buy tickets at the door anymore. Yeah. Well, gosh, it looks like you guys have a lot of show times that people can look forward to. No excuse not to come see you guys. Of course, if you would like to see Beauty and the Beast, which why wouldn't you? We'll connect you with how you can get those tickets and all the scheduling of those shows. There's a look at their Facebook page, and we'll connect you, of course, with all that information over on our website, CLiving.tv.